The way our technology works is it stimulates the spinal cord. Uh, when somebody has a spinal cord injury, functions beneath the level of injury are affected. And yet the spinal cord itself and the nervous system is intact. It's just dormant. It's not receiving enough signal from the brain to activate a given movement or function. So we stimulate that dormant spinal cord below the level of injury. And in doing so, we help people restore function. The entire system can be programmed by a physical therapist or clinician using a, a tablet like an iPad. And uh, we're also hopeful that the, the, the client, the, the person with spinal cord injury can also control the device via voice command with a smartwatch or a smartphone. So the transcutaneous spinal cord stimulation works by applying electrodes to the surface of the skin, which sends electrical currents through to the spinal cord, which excites spinal circuits. Those spinal circuits are then more likely to respond when it receives impulses from the brain, when we're trying to do a motor activity. So it's really important that someone's taking part in an activity that's engaging and they're motivated to do. And when they're trying to participate, it's hoped that the spinal circuits have a better chance of responding with the stimulation in place. Transcutaneous spinal cord stimulation has been described a little bit like a hearing aid for the nervous system, so it's enhancing the signals that the nervous system is receiving. Um, so it's hoped that if somebody, for example, is trying to get some muscle activity in their legs to be able to stand or walk, that when the stimulation's in place, um, there's a greater level of excitability in the spinal cord and therefore those nerve impulses are more likely to reach their target destination and hopefully enable people to use those muscles. This research study with the Onward ARCX stimulator is the most exciting opportunity that I've had whilst I've been working in spinal cord injury rehabilitation. It has the potential to be a game changer and we're hoping that it's a real breakthrough for people with spinal cord injury. I have quite a lot of movement which I didn't have but what I'm pleased with is the core which I can balance and I can do sit-ups and i got a bit of a six-pack going on. I can work in on easier transfer as opposed to transferring with the swing and then I can move and I can practice my huggy beer. <laughs> the study lasts for 120 sessions that spread out over a year. Participants who have completed the study at this point are seeing changes in their motor function, um, so their standing ability, walking, um, core control, and sensation changes, as well as changes to their autonomic function, so bladder, bowel, and sexual function. Having Onward ARC therapy available to the greater public will make a massive difference to all people living with paralysis. We are seeing recovery in participants who are over 10 years post-injury and they're regaining function that they never thought possible. The benefits I've had from using the stimulator um, is I had different muscle groups come back in my leg from like my right hamstrings, my hip flexors. Also, I've had bowel and bladder control come back, which are, and when I was in hospital got told that was one of the last things that would come back. So that really surprised me that I managed to get that back quite early on in using the stimulator. So my hopes from using the stimulator for me and other people is just to give them an opportunity, bit of hope that trying something new can maybe change their lives, maybe give them something like a muscle come back, just to give them that extra boost that they might need in life. Anything can happen if you put your mind to it. One of the benefits I did get back from the stim is being able to lift my leg and move it around and being told that I'll never be able to move my legs when I was in hospital, this is quite a big achievement for me. Yeah, so we're super excited about neuromodulation, spinal stimulation in spinal cord injury, but also other neurological conditions. Um, the future looks quite exciting for this and it will be a gateway for, for even greater gains for, for our communities in terms of outcomes, in terms of movement, in terms of sensation. Uh, and in terms of other functions. So um, we envisage a future whereby um, these types of technologies will be available to everybody in both the gym settings but also in the home settings and their quality of life um, being drastically increased. So we're really grateful for um, Spinal Research funding this clinical pilot 
and um, it is one of many other pilots that they are funding in this space as they believe passionately that neuromodulation is something that will change the lives in the spinal cord injury community. Since using the stimulation a couple of months in, I started to notice more sort of twinges in my quads um, and they have just got stronger as the study has gone along, which has allowed me to take my first steps using a walking frame without any support on my leg, which was, I have to say, when I first had my injury, it was a dream for me, to be honest with you. and something I hoped I'd always do, but to actually do it was quite an emotional experience for me. Personally speaking, I am really excited about this therapy because we are seeing results come through even at this very early stage. Certainly as somebody with a spinal cord injury, I and people like me have been told so many times that there's no hope and that we can't make a functional recovery. And now to see something like this coming through where people are recovering and they are getting better uh, is just incredibly heartening and incredibly encouraging. And I just, for anybody watching this, I just think it's a, it's a, a wonderful thing to have that hope.